Cancer, what's poppin' Cancer? How y'all doing? Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with the rundown. This is an intuitive exercise. Please do not take everything I say also literally, or you might end up shooting yourself in the foot. You gotta know how to take what I say, wipe away all the extras, and apply it to your life that it fits your life. I could be talking about family, and for you as a particular individual, in your reality, it pertains to your friends or your work, or your business, or your love, you feel me? Whatever, it, it, I could be talking about family and I'm talking about the energy that fam, the word family carries for you and it'll put your spirit in that energetic space. You gotta be able to feel it. Song that's playing right now is Pop Smoke for the Night. So you might be going through a situation that will last only for a night or you will most smoke for the night. It is your season, cancer season, and you are children of the moon. Moon is y'all y'all ruling planet, so y'all may be a little emotional because y'all taking a little introspect. Y'all, instead of looking on the outside, you now looking on the inside for some answers. You looking on the inside for some growth. You looking on the insides to how to change your nights into daytime. Whatever that means for you. Uh, oh, I'm going, I'm trying to shuffle good cards out. We are in the waxing crescent moon, keep that in mind. Though we just, though we are still in the energy of the new moon, we focus in the waxing crescent, which means we are in an energetic space where we can develop ideas and build on top of thoughts or foundations that we want to take a step further. Waxing crescent calls for you to look at your future and plan towards your future, build towards your future. You feel what I'm saying? So if, even though we still in that new moon energy, we four percent in the crescent. So you you can tap into the energy of coming up with thoughts, feelings, ideas, and emotions to build on top of a step or foundation that you already have built, whether that's fourth dimensionally, mentally, or third dimensionally, physically in your reality, or start a new foundation, start a new idea, start a new business. You feel me? Come up with new thoughts and feelings that you could build on top of and take to it a step further in your future. You feel me? But that's the energetic space in here right now, Cancer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull three cards for me and keep it pushing. Cancer. Again, the song that's playing for you is for the night, Pop Smoke. So you might be only going through something for the night. Look, regardless of 222 when I say this, you getting on your boat, it's either you, you emotional, and because it's something got you emotional, you packing your shit up, you taking all your passions, you taking all your thoughts, feelings, and ideas about that particular passion, and you row, row, row your boat on about your business. Now this could be fourth dimensionally, you leaving, you leaving an emotional con connected to thought alone, or third dimensionally, you leaving a person, place, or thing, or business alone that you know didn't, didn't satisfy you passionately, made you emotional, so you taking all your thoughts, all your ideas, all the words you gotta say to that particular person, place, or thing in your environment, you go on about your business. Whatever it is, hey look, I split the deck, 10 of cups in reverse. Your son made you emotional, so you leaving it alone, regardless if that's fourth dimensional or third dimensional. Something, you leaving something alone there, uh, cancer. Or you need to leave something alone. This is the energetic space you're in right now. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and pull three, and get the first one out right now. First one out right Devil, look, you need is you need to leave. Oh, nah, two cards came out. Okay, this idea might not be the great, the best idea. This idea might be a devilish idea. You may think it can manifest you, bring you prosperity, because this is the ace. So this, this, this look like a golden ticket to you. Whole time though, it's not. You may think you're gonna manifest using all the elements with you. But all the elements gonna work against you if you take this idea. You're gonna be chained to something you don't wanna be chained to. That's that could be a story for somebody. I only need one card though. Give me one card. I don't need two. I don't need three. I just need one. Come on, Bob. I need one on. Uh, there we go. Look, you manifesting something, but you're not manifesting the right way, uh, cancer. You you using all you using all your passions, you using all your emotions, you using your communication, and you may be using the the either thoughts, fourth dimensionally speaking, you using ideas and solid structures you came up with, or third dimensionally speaking, you using your materials to manifest, but you're not manifesting the right way, so it's in reverse. You manifesting using the devil that just came out. Look, ten of pentacles in reverse, and because you manifesting like this. You may ultimately end up putting yourself in a rut. 
something you thought would be everlasting, something you thought would be uh, long term because you manifesting it. Since you manifested it in reverse, you go, you probably gonna end up losing more than you gain. Keep that in mind, there, uh, Cancer. Who knows though? All I know is you the magician in reverse, so you're not manifesting the way God wants you to manifest. You manifesting the way you want to manifest. Look, and this came out reverse too. I'm telling you, you trying to manifest something that you think is gonna bring you this. You think it's gonna bring you the nine of pentacles. You think you're gonna be walking through a garden picking grapes on a Sunday morning. Whole time though, look. You, what you manifest in might not be the best for you. And you may be in mental conflict because you manifesting like this. It's like you manifesting something and you in mental conflict because you, you trying to figure out why the fuck my manifest, five, 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 when I say this, why the fuck my manifestations ain't coming out right? Or why the fuck I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here manifesting all the goddamn time. Where the fuck is my manifestation at? You're not manifesting right. You manifesting magician in reverse. If you was manifesting upright, then your garden would be here. Then your tangibilities would be here. Then your foundations would be built. Then your whatever you trying to manifest would be wilt into existence. But you manifesting like this. So what you trying to bring in ain't coming in because you're not doing it right. Instead of telling the truth, you lying. Instead of using your emotions for you, you using your emotions to manipulate people. Instead of using your materials to build, you using your materials to destroy. You feel me? Like, you're not doing it right. And that's why your garden all fucked up. That's why you ain't got no type of birds. You ain't got no type of flowers, no type of fruits, no type of sunshine. And you stuck in your head. And eight of swords is somebody who put themselves in their head. You put yourself in there because you was fucking up. Song that's playing for you right now is drop. You need to drop it. Whatever you're trying to manifest, you need to drop it. Shout out to the baby. Cancer. I need the last card for cancer. They see look. And it's like now you don't want to take no type of emotional action towards nothing because you like because you feel like what you're trying to manifest ain't coming into existence the way you want it to. You still stuck in your head, right? Chill. Look, you still what's behind this? Look, Wheel of Fortune, something, look, yo, you trying to manifest something. We done talked about this. You're not doing it God's way, but you're doing it a way. You feel like it's been working all my life, though I may have been manifesting what I don't need. I've been manifesting, so I'm going to keep doing it this way because this is how I know to do it whole time you thinking you manifest in the garden you manifest in the garden straight from hell god damn it straight from yale shout out to dolo now boom now you can't take no type of emotional action you can't move you can't take your emotions nowhere because you ain't got no emotions to give because you stuck in your head about what you're trying to manifest you so you you like why the fuck my manifestations ain't coming true i did everything i was supposed to do i did that right what the fuck is going on? See, all of these could be your own, fourth dimensionally speaking. This could be your voices in your head telling you why your shit not working or trying to figure out why your manifestation's not working. Third dimensionally speaking, these could be people, places, and things outside of your environment convincing you that how you manifesting is the right way to manifest, but yet you still not, you, your garden still not growing, you still not bearing fruits, and you can't move emotionally. So you gotta take it how it resonates. Take it, apply it to your life how it come to you. Whatever I said is for somebody though. Song that's playing right now is busted. Look, you might have to bust something. Whether that's somebody upside their head or look, love is in reverse. You not, what you doing ain't right. That's all, I'm gonna leave it right there. Look, I don't take four cards, but look, you crying over something that you trying to manifest that ain't coming out the way you want it to come out. But if you were to stop looking at that, if you were to get out your own goddamn head, you could have this. What's this card? Look, you just gotta speak your truth. But you don't wanna speak the truth. You wanna manifest using lies. Damn, cancer. Kenny, look, that's it.